think almonds are just good for snacking or almond milk, think again. These are my almond Parmesan zucchini crackers. There's actually no dairy in this recipe, no eggs, there's no gluten, 100% plant-based, and there's also zucchini in it. All you do is trim the end, and on this side of the box grater, it's one of the smaller sides, you just grate away. Okay, so now into the bowl, we put our ingredients. And for this, we need three cups of almond flour. And I always spoon the flour into the measuring cup, because if you go in, you can actually get too much flour. So now we need three quarters of a cup of ground flax meal. Now for our Parmesan that goes into our almond crackers, this is the secret ingredient. It's nutritional yeast. This is an inactive yeast, so it's not used for breads to make the bread rise but it's got a lot of great protein and B vitamins. So we're gonna do a half cup, half a teaspoon of salt. And now I'm gonna do two tablespoons of olive oil. It helps crisp up the cracker when it's baking. You don't wanna over mix this because you don't want this to be super tough. It's a little sticky. You actually need to let this sit for about 15 minutes to really absorb all of that excess moisture from the zucchini. Cover it with a dish towel because you don't want it to dry out. I'll show you this one. It's been resting for about 15 minutes. And look, it's nice and dry. The best thing to do is to do it in sections. And I'm gonna take a piece of parchment paper, make this into a ball of dough, put another piece of parchment on top, and start to press it down. You wanna get this flat. And as with any dough or bread, you wanna roll it from the center out. Center out, lift up, your dough, you put it on your baking sheet. Take your knife and score it in any shapes that you want. And then one more thing, you take a fork and score each cracker. It helps the inside of the cracker dry out. I like to take just a little sprinkling of salt. And then I'm gonna do one more thing. These look like black sesame seeds, but it's actually called a nigella seed. It's very common in Indian cuisine as another unusual floral and herbal dimension, plus some crunch to the crackers. Take some extra flax meal seed and just do a little dusting into a 350 degree oven. We're gonna bake these for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, flip it so the other side also gets baked. And this is the best part. You can see how easily they come apart. Here's like the perfect cracker, don't you think? Beautifully browned. A little bit of salt. Those nigellases just stuck right on. Mm. Crispy. It does taste like a cheese cracker. Great with an onion dip, minestrone soup, but also fantastic all on its own.